The Supreme Court decision here in the state of Arizona yesterday has implications across the country. This has become a national story instantly and the biggest story in the state of Arizona. So to get a reaction from the Senate President Warren Peterson, he joins us now. Uh, Senator, please uh, update us on this. What what do you make of what this decision did and why did the Supreme Court make this decision in your opinion? Uh, Well, good morning, Mike. Thanks for having me on the show. Uh, well, what it did was it um, instituted the territorial law um, for abortion. Um, they got the ruling correct. I mean, they just followed the the plain text of a bill that was passed a few years ago, which basically just said if Roe v. Wade gets overturned, then the territorial law that was put in place will go into effect. So I think, you know, from a textualist judicial point of view, um, they got the ruling right. So when they, and I agree with you, that's what I was saying this morning, people that are trying to hold the Supreme Court accountable, they just did what the law said. But the complaints now from people, what we're hearing is in order to get this passed, there was that caveat had to be put in there, that if Roe v. Wade is overturned, it defaults back to the territorial law, that this was something that was planned ahead of time and knew that this was going to happen and that's thrown things into chaos. How do you address that? Yeah, well, it was hoped that it was going to happen by, you know, uh, pro-lifers, myself included. Um, We were looking forward to a day where we could we could protect life. Now, of course, we have um, a situation where, you know, we've even had a couple of Republicans come out and say, hey, I you know, I think we should have more exceptions or there should be a little more time. And so I think as far as the Republican caucus you know, obviously there's not complete unity there. And then as we know, you know, the Democrats uh, would like to see the bill that uh, looks like it's already been approved for November, the initiative, I should say, uh, that is pretty much has exceptions to allow you to go to full term, you know, full term and have an abortion. So then let me ask about a compromise. The governor uh, yesterday said the legislature needs to do something about this. Is it possible to same, to pass basically the same piece of legislation without the default, obviously the default clause, where it would be, it would be the same thing that everybody agreed on before, the 15-week ban? Would it, would it be able to pass in the state legislature as it exists? And if it were to pass as it exists, do you believe the governor would sign it? Well, she's called for it. So I think she would sign it. Um, you, you, you won't – I don't see a scenario where you get a majority, you know, where you get most Republicans on it, but you'd probably have the votes to get it there. Um, you've got Democrats calling for the nuclear option, which means they just bypass the process and bring it to the floor. Now, the Democrats, uh, almost every day it seems like they're not there. Uh, so if they're not there, they can't vote. I think today a bunch of them are going to be absent. Um, so they can't do what she's called on them to do if they're not there. But if they are there, if they're all there and they call the nuclear option and a couple of Republicans vote for it, then, yeah, it'll pass and and uh, it'll go to the governor's desk. And, I'm, I mean, she's called for it, so I'd assume she's, she would sign it. Um, you know, I don't know, you know, I don't have a crystal ball, and I, I don't know if that will happen or not, but – um, you know, time will tell. We are, you know, I haven't, since the ruling has come out, <clears throat> I haven't had a chance to meet with my caucus. I've talked to a few of them, and obviously I've heard, you know, some things that have been said. Um, but we're going to meet and deliberate and talk about, um, you know, the best way to move forward on this. Senate President Warren Peterson is joining us. Um, I am someone that, like you, is adamantly pro-life. I am pro-life, but I have been I have been critical of defaulting back to a law that is written in territorial days. And let me give you my argument and see how you respond. My argument has been for years I have said as a pro-life person that as medical technology has changed and improved, the life of the mother is much less at risk and a pregnancy becomes viable much earlier. And laws have got to keep up with current medical technology. So defaulting back to a territorial law does not seem to be in the best interest of anyone. How do you address that criticism and that argument? No, I I think it's a fair criticism, Mike. Uh, And I I have a a couple of members who have, you know, brought up a repeal and replace, meaning, um, you know, life of mother that's more clear, like you said, considering modern, modern technology um, and incest, rape, you know, having a few of those, Exception. So that's certainly a position that I think is a 
I mean, I, I think it's a, a you know, a, it's a fair criticism. I think the law could be better written. So when and also let's look at the political angles on this because we know this has become political immediately since it happened. Uh, the potential now with the very slim majority for Republicans in the House and the Senate. Are you concerned that with now the tailwind coming for Democrats on this issue, are you concerned that you got you could lose the majority in the House and the Senate because of this one issue in Arizona? You know, I don't I don't I don't know. I can tell you it's the only issue in their favor. Um, all the polling I've seen, the top issues are border economy, inflation um, and Republicans lead on that. And those are our issues. So uh, can, can, can Democrats win solely on the abortion I- issue? I don't know, especially if we come up, um, you know, like, at, like I know you're, you're pushing for and a couple of people are pushing for. If there's something that, um, that, that we come up with that, that uh, you know, either makes the language better or even if, if, if there's something that, you know, ameliorates this issue with, especially with the Republicans and the majority of the voters, then then I think it's a complete non-issue. Well, listen, I truly appreciate your concern in this uh, I, and looking at this from, from all angles. I know that it's a difficult job to be in leadership because you have your personal opinions and how you want to vote on an issue, but you have to take into consideration the entire Senate and everybody else involved and look at what's best. And I know it's a different role sometimes. Addressing that from a leadership position, do you believe you, there is still room to come together with the Democrats that are in the, in the Senate, or do you think you're so far apart in this issue that it's going to be dependent on you just rallying your caucus to something everyone can agree on? Well, of course, we. The, I mean, I want to come up with something with, with my caucus. Uh, it, I rarely, there's every once in a while there are, you know, um, it, this is a partisan issue. On the nonpartisan issues, you know, it's easy. It's very easy to um, get build consensus with the other side. But with something as partisan as this, um, and it is very political and charged, and you know, where they try to take advantage of it, they don't seem to want to be. Um, you know, it seems like most of them want what's going on in November. A few of them don't. Most of our members don't want anything but a few of them do so um i'm looking for a solution with my caucus that's what i'm going to be talking to them about i feel like that can give us the best product but you know there are members calling for other things and there is the nuclear option and you know the nuclear option has happened before i've seen it happen uh, a couple times in the 13 years i've been down there and yeah. you know it may happen that's a reality it may happen again I appreciate the time this morning on this very, very heated issue, and I look forward to talking to you in the coming days because I know this is not going away, but I appreciate the time this morning. Thanks, Mike. Take All right. care. All right, that is the Senate President Warren Peterson. Thanks for watching the Mike Broomhead Show. Tap to watch the first season of Amazing Arizonans, a KTAR News podcast. You can also click the button in the middle to subscribe.